What's up everyone, this is Rip here on another adventure. I am inside of a mansion that has a tragic history to it. Um, and a sad ending, unfortunately. A, a loving couple who used to live here with, they adopt, had one foster child and then they had their own child. Um, from what briefly I read of, on this place is that the father and uh, ended up murdering their foster child. Uh, a couple of stories say is that they, the family said that the boy ran off with some friends to another state or he went back to his biological family and they went to another state. So the boy disappears and everyone's like, okay, since it's the foster kid and not the real, their biological kid that, okay, nothing really happened. Well, their other child was telling people, hey, my daddy killed my brother, my daddy killed my brother, but nobody would listen. Well, the family ended up selling the house and the new owner started doing renovations here. And outside, and I'll show you guys in here in a little bit, the front porch, underneath the front porch when they were removing some bricks to restore the porch, they found the child's body wrapped up in a, in a Disney blanket. So basically the house has been sitting empty since the body was found in the mid 90s. Uh, the father did get arrested. He was convicted and then reconvicted when he appealed it um, like a day or two after the second found guilty trial. He hung himself in prison with a, his bed sheet. So let's take a quick look around here. It's really, it's not too elaborate. It's a little, really bare. I may even pull out some paranormal investigation equipment and maybe we'll get something. Maybe not. I'm highly suspicious if we do get something. Anyways, let's take a peek around here. Um, but if you guys like this, This had to have been a bedroom right here. Well, hey, take this in there. If it lights up, there's an electrical ma magnetic field. Uh, if it lights up, like. Goes to red. Could be a smell, too, maybe. There's a bunch of them. I mean, we could also, I got my voice recorder. I hear that wasp. So, it's a one, two, three, four bedroom house. This had to have been four bedroom. Oh yeah, I've had felt my pocket like like get really hot and then I'm like oh Yeah, this house has been nicknamed the Murder Mansion. Um like I said it's pretty empty. This was a walk out balcony. attached now it's not there's also a funeral going on right across the street what? funeral then I'll show you take you up here real quick it's really dotted I've already this could have been another So this is probably was a four or five bedroom house. 
There's one, two, three bathrooms just up here alone, I believe. But I like that. Still got some hangers. Has that gone off any? No. No? You know where I really want it? To put it? Where they found the body. So let's go check the first floor. There are so many lost in this. And different types look. There's another type. type of can. Ooh, another ornate fireplace. Another fancy bathroom. Backside stairs. We've already explored all the way to the inside, through the inside. So, time. We've had a little while. All right, let's check out the outside. Is there a little boy in here? There is, look. 
see this where the green light is? If you light it up, touch it, it lights up more. See, look. See how I laid it up? Is there a little boy still lost down here? <laughs>